Fight Saturday with Tim Kavanaugh. Tonight, David Giancola. With musical guest, Bryden. And the McNeese School of Irish Dance. And now from Alumni Auditorium, here's Tim. Wow! Nice indeed. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Hey, happy St. Patrick's Day out there, huh? My goodness, I think you people have already all been celebrating out there or something. All right, hey, did you hear this in CBS News? CBS weatherman Dave Price was being considered as a potential replacement for Bob Barker on The Price is Right. CBS officials, however, told him he did not get the job because he hasn't been spayed or neutered yet. <laughs> yeah, still trying to improve his image with African Americans, Michael Richards announced that he plans on religiously watching NBC's new drama, The Black Donnellys. <laughs> and in London, how about this? A mother who feared she might lose custody of her 218-pound 8-year-old son struck a deal with social workers to ensure that the obese boy does lose weight. Officials say that if the boy continues to gain weight, they may have no choice but to mandate that he apply for American citizenship. <laughs> Ugh. And UFO science, the Canadians and UFO science, I don't know what this is all about, but UFO science is the key to halting climate change, according to a former Canadian defense minister. On a related note, uh, a new study shows that Canadian use of LSD is up 300%. <laughs> and recently, did you hear about the Swiss Army getting lost? Anyone hear about that? Recently, a group of Swiss soldiers got lost at night and accidentally invaded Liechtenstein. Yes, <laughs> Liechtenstein, that's a tough one. The Swiss said that this mistake was almost as embarrassing as the time they put holes in their cheese. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, brace yourselves, folks. We do have a terrific show for you tonight. Tonight, we have got David Giancola. <laughs> plus, plus, we have a bouncing stage manager, and we have the music of Pryden coming in. Yes. And also, the McNeese School of Irish Dance is here to perform for us. Yes. But before we do that, why don't we go ahead and find out if we can go ahead and give away a prize. And I'm going to go ahead and head up to the studio audience right over this way. And find out, as I trip over cords and, and knock over the set, I need you to go ahead and stand up. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I'm Tim. I'm Cassie. Nice to Cassie, nice to meet you. Where are you from, Cassie? Wyoming. You're from Wyoming. Mm -hmm. Very nice. All right. Cassie, do you know how we, uh, we, we play the games here on Late Night Saturday? Um, I've seen a couple of them. Yeah, we do the, the word of the week. Well, we're not going to do that tonight, Cassie. Nope. <laughs> what we want to do, Cassie, for you, what we want to do is we want to test your, because you watch the show, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we want to find out. If you can tell us who the guest was from last week's show, last Saturday's show, we're going to let you have a prize on the prize wheel. How's that sound? Excellent. All right. Ooh. Ooh. All right, Cassie, go ahead into the camera. Tell us who last week's guest was. Peter Post. It was Peter Post. That's absolutely correct. Congratulations. All right, let's turn things over to the very lovely Miss Jen Jen as she spins that wheel for us. And let's find out what Cassie is going to win for us on this great St. Patrick's Day. And let's find, let's find out what is on that prize wheel for you. And let's see, Cassie. Uh-oh, is it going to be Lyric? Oh, look where it stopped right there. You have just landed on Lyric Theater. Lyric Theater is a local community theater group, and they're getting ready with their production of Guys and Dolls. We have a $50 gift certificate for you, and you can find out information at lyrictheatervt.org, or we'll get you the correct information. Plus, look at this. Ms. Jenjen has just dropped in here with your own jar of Jed's Maple Mud, and that's good on just about anything. And it's made in the Northeast Kingdom at jedsmaple.com. Cassie, congratulations. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. And, folks, 
We have been putting out that, that viewer challenge for you folks all along, and we have someone who has gone ahead and answered that call. The McNeese School of Irish Dancers will be performing on March 18th at the Cayley at City Hall in Burlington. The first dance they're here to share is called a treble wheel, which is a hard shoe dance. Ladies and gentlemen, the McNeese School of Irish Dance. <laughs> And welcome back to the show. And once again, happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you folks out there. We want to remind you to listen in to Classic Hits Cool 105 for details about upcoming shows. And if you'd like to visit us here uh, uh, for a taping of Late Night Saturday, stop by customer service at South Burlington's University Mall for free tickets. Or you can visit us online at our own website at latenightsaturday.com. Now, once here again with another Irish dance, the McNeese School of Irish Dance. Much and welcome back to the show. My guest tonight is a well-known Vermont filmmaker from Rutland. He has directed eight films that have featured famous names such as Steve Railsback, Morgan Fairchild, Sean Austin, and the late Anna Nicole Smith. Please welcome David Giancola. Holy 
Cal. How are you? I'm good, man. It's good yeah, to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for making the trip up. Well, I appreciate it. Quite the commute, huh? Yeah, yeah, you know, Rutland, is, you know, Route 7 can be tough at 5 o'clock. So. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was thinking the last time I saw you uh, was easily three years ago, and you were, um, how shall I put it? Celebrating, smashed. Uh, celebrating you were smashed. Patrick's Day? You were smashed. I wasn't completely you were sm smashed. It was a wedding, so he had, a, he had reason to drink. It was the wedding yeah. of our, our mutual friend, Lorraine Turgeon. That's correct. As a matter of That's fact. That's correct. Yeah. Who is in our audience tonight. She is, so yes. it's her fault. It is her fault, because it was open bar. <laughs> That's right. Very I, open. I do your remember case, that. Actually. Um, well, we thought it would be appropriate to have you on the show, because it is St. Patrick's Day, and we had Irish dancers, we have an Irish band, and now we have an Italian filmmaker, so. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, what the heck. But you, uh, you've been in filmmaking for a long time. In fact, this has been a lifelong love of yours. Yes. Yeah, I really, uh, I was a child of the late 70s when all the, when the blockbusters started to come out, Jaws, Star Wars, Superman, and I was really, I remember being transported um, and I instantly wanted to become a filmmaker and it just stuck with me very, at a very young age and I just kept going. And uh, very supportive families, uh, families yes. too. Your parents, yes. um, they knew you wanted to do this. They bought you the equipment at, at a young age so yes. you could practice in the backyard and things like that. Oh, and I shot weddings, I shot legal depositions, shot commercials. Aren't those the same thing? Shot funerals. Yeah, kind of, sometimes actually. <laughs> shot divorces. And uh, how did you get into films? I, I mean, you, you've done a number of films now, independent mm -hmm. projects. You, you've gotten all, all these, uh, these other films with some of these stars that we've talked about. Well, my career has been a, a series of, a, a stairway, a series of successes. And I always try and advise up and coming filmmakers about this, that I didn't get to be where I am overnight. I started literally doing weddings with that first camcorder that my parents gave me. And then that led me into uh, local television commercials, cable commercials, industrial videos. But I always wanted to be in dramatic feature films. And so I was always pushing that envelope, trying to be in, uh, be, trying to make feature films. And so I made a short, won some awards, and then I made my first feature film, which is called uh, Time Chasers which became kind of notorious because it was on a certain show that made fun of bad movies. And <laughs> Mystery Science Theater 3000. Do people know, anybody know the show? Yep. Oh, yep. God. <laughs> um, so I made this film called Time Chasers. It did really well. And I just, I said, I'm only going to make movies and I'll see if I can make it work. And I'm still here. And as um, my wife bought me a plaque this year, it says, uh, Edgewood Studios going out of business since 1987. And we're still here. <laughs> Well, and, and let's bring it right up to the present because uh, your, your, your latest film is with Anna Nicole Smith um, and also her son Daniel yes. is, is in the film. We have, a, uh, we have the trailer that we want to show. You, yeah. wanted, you wanted to show the trailer, so we're going to show that trailer now, and then when we come back, we're going to uh, talk about that film. Yes, yes. All right, here and, we go. And enjoy. It's very wacky. <laughs> You have seen them among us. You have always suspected it. They look human, but act very strange. be from some other planet. Why's my poopy hoe sore? <laughs> Illegal alien. You were right. Nobody spit the missile and Lucy's butt gets away with it. We are aliens on a strange planet. We can't go around attracting undue attention to ourselves. Jerk, I have the right of way. I will complete my Mega Gravitron, and the world will tremble at my feet! <laughs> that is one big girl. I have something a little special just for the occasion. What is it, some kind of mind control serum? It's much better. Mind control suppositories! <laughs> now they are the only ones who can save our planet. So kiss your butt goodbye. We're old, 
fork in the microwave trick. I should have known. Anna Nicole Smith and Joni Lauer. Illegal aliens. Get out of this square to get out this baby! Yeah. Very good, very good. Yes, thank you. Yes, that, it is that stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect for our show. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You um, uh, got a chance to work with Anne and Nicole Smith. Yes. Yeah. How, how did you How did you come across her? How did you How did you get her involved in the film? You know, I had um, her character Lucy is kind of a, a ditz, so I was looking for an actress who could play that kind of uh, Suzanne Somers ditzy thing, and I was in a casting session with my casting director and somehow Anna Nicole Smith slipped out of my mouth and I went <laughs> and they said no I think she's available and I said well, okay no, knowing it was going to hurt and the next thing I know I was on the phone with Howard K. Stern and uh, they said well Anna, Anna likes the script and um, she wants Daniel to, be, to produce it and she wants to do some rewrites and oh we want to invest and I said what what who are you people you don't do that and um, and uh, my partners were like, this is ridiculous. And then I read what she wanted to do, which was to satirize her entire persona um, through the, this character Lucy in the film, which is what she, which is what she does. And so she, she wrote a lot of the gags. And a lot of the stuff that's really funny was made up by her and Daniel. And Daniel, of course, we're talking about is her late son. He's her late son. Who, 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 he was kind of our apprentice producer. He'd never produced before. He was only 19 at the time. But he did make up a lot of a lot of the gags. He got her to do stuff that I don't think she would have done for anybody else. So now, I mean, obviously, it's a it's a it's a tragic story with what, what's happened with, with Daniel with, mm -hmm. with Anna Nicole. Uh, you were just at the funeral down in the yeah. Bahamas. Yes, uh, I'm sure that was an emotional time for you. Um, that was just uh, you know a week ago. Right. Um, what about the film itself, though? I mean, wh where is it heading? Because you've got a, a premiere that's coming up with it. It's uh, it's been a roller coaster ride. I was describing it um, earlier as it's been like uh, being on a ro being on a high speed train, just you know hanging on because things have been changing so fast. Daniel passed away. Anna passed away. Um, so we we had some offers from some mini majors um, that should remain nameless who wanted to pick up the film and shove it out like last week. Um, and I said, no, I want people to be able to laugh at the film. Anna would have wanted people to be able to laugh at her. And so we pushed the release date back. And it's coming out on DVD May 1st. Okay. And we're going to do a premiere sometime in April. Next week we're going to decide about that. And we had a benefit plan for Big Heavy World, which is a music uh, library here in Burlington, that we're going to reinstate the benefit and a benefit down in Rutland for the Paramount Theater. So, uh, That's great and then we'll stuff. do a premiere in New York and L.A. Which is great, and that's one of the things I love about you. You had you had some offers from from some big majors, mm -hmm. and you st stuck with the folks that have been supporting you all along. Right. That's just the type of guy David Jean Cole is. Thank we'll be much. right back, right after this. Thanks. Thanks. Mamma Mia's Pizzeria. We're more than just pizza, offering a full menu of traditional Italian cuisine. Gateway Plaza, South Burlington. And look at that! Look at that! We have. We have pizza for everybody here in the studio audience. Miss Jen Jen is handing it out right now. Mamma Mia's Pizzeria, isn't that good pizza, everybody? Yes. It's the corned beef and cabbage version of pizza, just in honor of St. Patrick's Day. All right, folks, our musical guest tonight uses bagpipe rock to its fullest extent. The band is coupled with screaming guitars, a driving bass, and the funkalicious rhythm of drums. Here they are, Pryden.
Thank you very much, and welcome back to the show. Boy, this was a terrific show. We, we had such a good time with, with all the Irish fest festivities going on, and our Italian filmmaker, hey, David Giancola. Thank Cola. you so much. Great thank pleasure you. to be here. It was a thank pleasure you. having you here. Thank you all. We definitely want to have David come back in, in the future, and, and please keep us updated. Sure. A reminder, Illegal Aliens, the film with Anna Nicole Smith, it's going to be out on DVD on May 1st um, throughout the United States. So thanks to David. Thank thanks you. to the McNeese School of Irish Dance. And also thanks to Pride, and remember to support local artists, and we will see you next time right here on Late Night Saturday. Woo! Happy St. Patrick's Day.